Hey guys, so today I want to explain to you guys how you can stack overdrive pedals to get different levels of gain. I'm going to demonstrate it on the HX Stomp on the computer editor, but of course this will work with your Helix stuff, your HX FX stuff. It will also work in real life, so it's really kind of cool concept. Let's get cracking with this stuff guys. But before you do that, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. Also press the bell. I upload HX Stomp stuff and other guitar related stuff all the time, every other day. And you get some free presets with my videos. So guys, what's not to like about that? So let's start out in the beginning guys. We have the input gate that I've activated with the standard minus 48 decibel threshold and with a decay of 115 milliseconds. And it still sounds and feels really nice to play, even on a clean tone. As you can hear, really feels still pretty amazing. And the input impedance I have set on 230K, that's my kind of basic kind of standard setting for my humbucker guitars. Let's move straight on to that amplifier. So the amplifier I'm using is the Match Stick on channel one. I really like it for clean tones. And um, the way I set this up is I check it out on the neck pickup of my guitar, which is by the way, a Gibson ES-335 with a turnbucker in the bridge and a DiMarzio 36 anniversary PAF DP-103 in the neck. So let's check out that neck tone everything on them. And I start out by kind of giving it a lot on the open chord. And as you can hear, it starts to break up and it sounds kind of muffled. So what we do is we back off that drive, we back off the bass to about, hmm, let's check out 2.7, and then we add a little bit of presence. And let's check out what we get now. We can do with a little bit more presence, but let's check out the bridge pickup to see if that is still balanced. Well, we, we do have a little bit of presence left on the bridge, in my opinion. And again, if you're only using the neck pickup on cleans, then you can add a lot more presence. If you're using the bridge and stuff, then you might want to balance it out like I do. So, okay, that's my basic tone. Let's check it out in the middle position. I really love the middle position tone. That sounds just amazing, guys. Middle position on a Gibson. Really overlooked, but amazing kind of tone. And so let's get on to the main portion of this video, which is dialing in distortions and overdrives and stacking them. So what I like to do is I like to get my main distortion pedal. And for a main distortion pedal, I love to use the Timme. And let's check it out, guys. So this is the bypass tone on the bridge pickup. <laughs> which is a little bit bright, so that's why I really like the Timmy. Let's check out the stock settings. This will not sound super amazing, but it sounds pretty good. It's really trebly, okay? It does not sound good. So what we do is we get a treble cut, which I like really much. Uh, let's get it at about 8.3, which, yeah, that's really cool. And I would like a little bit more bass in there, um, I think the other two settings are good, but we'll check that later. Okay, so we can do with just a little bit more bass cut. Um, let's check the level difference. So what I do is I check out how loud it is without the pedal, then I add the pedal and I will adjust the level of the pedal accordingly. So without the pedal. And 
And what I'm looking for is a little bit of level boost, but not as much that I will throw some people off. So what I will do is I will get it at about 5.5, but 5.4 in this case, which is pretty close. And let's check it out once again, guys, without the pedal. <laughs> And I like that, but let's get just a little bit more gain, guys. We'll get a mid-gain type of tone. Okay, and that's a really nice type of tone. And what we can do right now is we can check out the stacking portion. So I have two ways that I like to stack. I like to start out with my uh, pre-boost and a pre-boost is just putting a overdrive pedal in front of it. And what I like to do is I like to, le to get a lot of level, get it at about 9, like to get not that much gain, about 1, and then the tone uh, we will see how good that will sound or how not so good that will sound. Okay, so we noticed that it's a little bit loud, so let's back that level down. Check it out once again. really like what that guy does so guys there you have it that's how I would do a pre type of boost and the reason you would do a pre type of boost is because you want uh, a little bit more gain with the character of your pedal if you want uh, kind of to add that gain but of the character of another pedal then you would do the post boost which is what I will do right now. And for that, I like to use um, a clon type pedal. You can also use a tube screamer, but a clon type pedal is really nice in my opinion. So let's check out how we're going to do that. So as always, I like to get a little bit of level. Um, I mean, a lot of level, a little bit of gain. And with this guy, we're going to start with the tone way down low and check out what that guy does so again tim up. way too much level so let's back the down and do the comparison again of So as you can see, the post boost is really nice to get a little bit more level and just a little bit more gain. Uh, if you want to have a lot of more gain, then I would suggest getting the pre-boost. So what we do is um, with this kind of setting, I would start out with the Timme as my main kind of drive kind of tone. <laughs> a little bit boost 
boost I want a little bit of boost to get those solos but not those gainy solos then you use the clown <laughs> What I do then is I get um, the pre-boost if I want just a gainier type of rhythm tone or just a gainy type of lead that doesn't need to be. But there you have that stuff. Then you have a little bit more gain. Um, you want to do a solo with that gainier type of tone. And then you put that guy after it. Because then you still have that nice level boost. Check it out. that gain here then you just a little bit more gain on the TS9 and you get more So um, that's basically what uh, it's all about. You have a post boost to get you more volume and a little bit more gain. Then you have a pre boost to get that gain. And yeah, that's that's how I like to do it, guys. That's how to stack gate battles to achieve different kinds of level of gain and of volume and how I would do it. I hope this helped you out. And please, again, press that little subscribe button press the bell icon uploading HX stamp and other guitar related stuff every other day get some free presets get some free awesome videos put some comments in the comment section down below and then I will catch you for the next video guys <laughs>